good barbecue ets. That's right, you heard it from your boy barbecue ets. Uh, the reason why I say that is because today is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the barbecue ets out there uh, doing great things. Uh, this is the well deserved day for you guys. Um, this ain't about y'all barbecues, man. Hey, get out there and cook for your lady or your significant other. Um, yeah, I'm not firing up the grill today. I just wanted to do it. Give a shout out to all the women out there that's uh, uh, doing great things, you know what I mean? All over the world. Um, y'all what hold us down, to be honest with you, right? Y'all the ones that allow us to buy all the gadgets you see out here, um, or whatever you have at home. Um, whether you like it or not, um, that's our safe haven. But, you know, without you, um, we would be nothing. So I applaud you. Like I said, thank you. And happy Mother's Day to all the barbecue ass out there. Keep doing what you do. Uh, keep letting us cook. Um, that's what we like to do. Drink, cook, and uh, just have fun, man. So anyway, um, short video on cheap charcoal. But I want to do an interlude. And like I said, give a shout out to all the women out there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Take people out to eat if you did that, but barbecuing at its finest. My next video is probably going to be me uh, putting together the uh, my, uh, my stand-up smoker, um, the pit pit house barrel smoker. So uh, I'm going to put that together probably. I, I should have been did it, but uh, I owe you guys that, so I'm going to put that together sometime this week. Other than that, man. Send me videos, man. I want to see clips. I want to see pictures. A few of you been emailing me uh, pictures of your new grills, your new Shirley Fab, stuff like that. Kudos to you on that. You can't never go wrong with that one. Um, but, like, without further ado, this your boy, man. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. What's good, Backyard Barbecue? It's Barbecue S, man. This your boy, Mr. B. We back uh, on the scene. Uh, we're going to test some stuff out. Um, I bought some charcoal today because I'm out of charcoal. I'm waiting for it. Hey, go out and check my video, man. I probably put the link in the description of uh, where to get uh, charcoal for cheap and when to buy it. Go check that out. So I'm stuck with buying charcoal at regular price. So y'all know me, I'm cheap. Um, so I decided I'm gonna buy this stuff right here. I bought it at my local Walmart. The grill, expert grill, charcoal briquettes. I don't know what this thing do. Uh, I'm just gonna cook some, some, uh, some sausage little sausage and hamburger just to mess around so I'm really not concerned with the heat um, and how hot it or cold it gets but we're gonna check it out man and see if it's a product worth even talking about um, I know I'm a Kingsford fan only because they're cheap um, when I buy them on certain days like I said watch that video y'all to tell you when to go get it what days and they started to add a few more days to it so I'll probably do an updated video on the updated dates uh, or time frame Father's Day stuff like that but uh, it's all about these babies right here today so I'm just firing my uh, Weber kettle uh, mess around with that today and then we're gonna see what this product does y'all so stay tuned all right we back y'all man i got the uh the uh charcoal on i got it in the uh slow and sear i'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like before i put these uh these hamburgers and hot dogs on a couple sausage uh, y'all see my wood over there drying up y'all see it look pretty decent got a decent flame like i said i'm not putting the burgers or nothing directly over the flame y'all you know look so we're gonna come back in a minute, talk about how well this thing works. I'm gonna show you temps and all that, and we'll go from there. Welcome back, y'all, man. It's your boy, man. Hey, we out here getting it in. Uh, let me give you a close up of the temps right now. Uh, hoping about 300. Uh, let's see, let's see. Not too bad. Hey, this second go around on the uh, the burgers. Like I said, uh. Like, ain't too bad. I, I would not recommend this if you was uh. Let me get a look at the charcoal. I wouldn't recommend this if you were doing long cooks. Uh, I'ma stir these ashes up. Keep in mind this is a slow and sear too, so I have to stir up the ashes uh, as I'm going because they are uh, the one I bought. Uh, the holes at the bottom not big enough, so I got to stir it up every so often. So that could be part of it, but I wouldn't do long cooks with this. This, but uh, we're gonna test it out. Oh, one of these days on that joker once I clean them up. Anyway, we'll be back, man, with the finished product and then send you on your way. Hey, y'all, we back, man. Uh, had an awesome time messing around with this uh, expert grill uh, charcoal briquettes. Um, not too bad, I'm going to be honest with you. Actually, I might start buying them just because they cheap. And sometimes I uh, I like my Shirley Fab uh, Big Bertha with the, these uh, charcoal. 
So ain't no sense of using my good kinks for on that. So I might just keep keep a couple bags around so when I like that, I can do that. Um, instead of bringing out my propane torch, uh, that's a headache just moving that, that type of equipment. But uh, I might just keep using it, man. It, it, it's not bad for the quick cooks. Like I said, this one only took me maybe 30, 35 minutes uh, tops um, just because I was rotating the meat. That's the part that sucks, man. When you grilling, you got to stand over the meat and watch it every so often. Um, I was putting the meat off to the side, but after a certain time, uh, the temperature started going down, so I wanted to go ahead and get the meat done, so I started moving it over on top of the flame, which was on the slow and sear. So there we have it. Let me, let me get y'all a little close-up, man. Man, oh this stuff, man. Let me know. Comment below, man. You use this type of charcoal. That's minus a couple of uh, sausage and uh, hamburgers, but uh, of course you gotta feed the beast. Being me and man's best friend, Snow, right here somewhere gup gupping on uh, a couple pieces of hamburger that fell on the ground. It's all good. But anyway, comment below, man. Let me know what you think about uh, this charcoal. If you ever used it, man, it'd be interesting to know, like how will or if you continue to use it. Uh, let everybody know, man. We want to know. Anyway, this is your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. How about your boy?